What is pussy popping, you beautiful humans? My name is Ariane Andrew. And I'm Matt Dillon. And welcome to another piping hot episode of Sippin' the Tea. Oh, where we sip the tea and our guests uh, <laughs> spill, spill the tea. tea. Yes. yes. Mm. Well, that was Mama. She's out. <laughs> and this is little Glitty right here. I'm so excited for today's guest. We have two-time Emmy nominee Catherine Eisman, also an author. And designer, if you can tell, Catherine Eisner, welcome to Sipping the Tea, my I'm, darling. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be sipping and spilling the tea. Oh, oh yeah. Later. Don't spill it over your uh, couture, darling. Exactly, yeah. not today. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. you? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. This is fantastic. I'm happy to have you. And the dogs as well. I know. It's a little, you know, it's a, it's a full house. It's a family affair. It so, is. I want to take it, take it back and, you know, we're here now, but I want to take it right back to, you know, kind of inception. You're originally from Australia. Yes, I am. Tell me how, you know, how? started in television, mm. best-selling author with How to Tell a Man by His Shoes. Yes. And How to Tell a Woman by uh -huh. Her Handbag. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. let me tell you, on point, haven't seen your handbag, but the shoes are killing okay. it. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> where's yours? <laughs> I made sure I came, you know, prepared because, you know, I read about the psychology of style and you yes. said how a person dresses. Yes. Like a direct reflection of kind of like how people see it. Yes. You know, people often say, oh, fashion's so superficial, but it's actually the very opposite of it. You know, why, you know, you choose an item of clothing when there is literally an infinite amount of choices at every price point, really. It's not just about like, oh, I've got this budget, but like you can really buy anything and you put it on as like an extension of who you are, like a second skin. Skin, and then you decide to walk through life with that as an extension of who you are. How could that not be one of the most revealing insights into, you know, your self-image, your aspirations, how fabulous you are, your sense of fun? Um, there's so much. I really believe that we uh, that we wear like the inner world externally. So when you were a kid, yes. where did this where yes. did this passion for kind of peeling back what a lot of people you start you said, mm. ugh, fashion. Yeah. Where did that kind of intuitive turn totally. start for you? How did that happen? Because Such that's so, I mean, there's a mm. psychology behind it. A hundred percent. And it's so interesting. So back in the day, I remember I was modeling and I remember I was sitting on the floor waiting because it takes so long. You're waiting for this shot and this shot. And I remember these guys were like walking past on set and I was just looking at their shoes and look, and I was like, and I was always fascinated in psych by psychology because basically people and why we do what we do. And it's, there's nothing more interesting in my opinion. Agreed. And so I was like, oh, there's, I could tell like, that's obviously that guy, that's that guy. And I was like, do you know what? There is this direct correlation between the type of shoes, uh, particularly a man wears, and the kind of guy he is. And I thought, I was single at the time. And I remember thinking, um, how much easier would it be dating if you didn't have to like go on all these really bad dates? You could literally <laughs> just like meet the guy, forget looking into his eyes, and you don't even have to, you know, if you want to know if he loves you, it's in his kiss. You don't have to kiss the guy. You literally look down, you know, don't way wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. I was say, wait a minute. That's how wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Way down. To the floor. And then you could tell so much about him. And so I started using this. In, and I was like, I need to write this book. And so I wrote the book and thought, oh, I wonder if anyone will ever buy it. And it ended up being an international bestseller. Oh. And it brought me from Australia to originally New York. And I was on Good Morning America and all the different morning shows there. And they had, they were like testing me, like, is she full of it? And so they would have these lines of shoes. And on live, you know, national television, I would be like, this guy takes wedding vows very seriously. And the guy would come out and be like, I just renewed my vows. It was, it was, oh I was like this, this shoe psychic. And so um, it just, it kind of grew from there. And now I, without doubt, can tell pretty much everything or the key elements about a person by looking at what they're wearing. It's fascinating and a very useful tool. I'm now married, but I, you know, friends, colleagues, girl, well, I'm She, she, she don't get that number, so honey. I'm going to need to... You need to swap, swap. I'm going right. to help exactly. you. I'm going I'm to yes, change. Girl. I'm going to help you find your soulmate, pardon the pun. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, yes, girl. Okay, so wait, let's... Now, let's... Because right over here, girl, you are serving some major looks. She's what serving looks. Can ooh, we get a little look? Yes. Oh, I feel like this is very exciting. Ooh. Yes. Yes, girl. So these look are, at this. So this is... Um, 
these socks actually it was something that I created because I was obsessed with socks and I thought no one is doing amazing socks and how fabulous that you can wear everything that you would normally wear whether it be jeans or like a cool dress and then literally slip on a pair of socks and they bam give you a point of view that you get to express your personality so I created last year um, my line High Hill Jungle and which is like epic it's fabulous the name itself just gives a vibe of like I don't know the jungle it's like Inventive, and you've created some. I mean, you're wearing it with heels. Yes. So for me, you're breaking rules. I'm completely. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, you're a rule Look breaker. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm breaking rules. I'm breaking. But it's so true. No, it's like, it's why should socks be reserved? Why should socks be hidden? They, and so the minute that's true. The minute you put on these, like I was just this morning interviewing um, Elizabeth Banks or anyway, and she was like, "Stop, tell me about your socks." And I, when I walk out, multitasking. <laughs> This is my line. Exactly. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Open the trench coat. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like these will stop if you want. If you want to find a right, the amazing guy, put on a pair of these. Guys will follow you and be like, oh my god, because it's so different. And so now we're in Ron Robinson. We're all in some of the best stores, some of the biggest celebrities in the world have worn it. But more importantly, just like. People all over the world have like fallen in love head over heels, over high heels. Oh, she's so, a good, e she's a good pun queen. E yes, <laughs> I, I don't know if puns are cool, but I'm committing to them for the rest of the interview. You're no, hot, you're they're hot good. Body. I mean, look, this to me seems like if we look back at your past and we we've the books, the television, you've had your own shows here with the Fab Life yeah. on VH1. Yeah, this seems like people are like, oh, she jumped from there to here. I think it's. With the content of the programming that you were doing, it seems like such a natural development. Yeah. Are you still, I know you're still doing the interviews and, and what have you. Are you, is this like how to tell a person by their socks? Can we expect a third book? Oh my gosh, yeah. And this would be interesting because I designed every single sock to be like a different type of personality. I mean, look, yeah. you, if you can see, we've got Leave Me Alone. We, yeah. here, we have the one, this, Little, is, this, this is, is bomb. This is so, I have a shirt that's like this. So oh this God. is, you guys, mm -hmm. look at this. <laughs> Serving looks. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a pair of these, girl. Oh my, you would look so amazing. Yes, I there. love this because I, like I said, this I have a. It's very you. It's so me and the sparkles. Oh the my gosh, it's so here. much fun. So yeah, you know what I thought. I remember when I first started my career, and it, you know this is you know a while ago. Five minutes ago. <laughs> five minutes ago. It was. It, but what happened was people were like, okay, pick a lane. Like if you want to. Uh, at the time, you know, if you want to write, be a writer. If you want to be a television reporter, be a TV. It was before people became like their own brands. And I think now that's where people have become their own kind of media center. And that expresses through written word and content and a million other things. But I remember thinking like, I love writing. I studied journalism. I've always been passionate about it. I've always loved television. And, uh, you know, I, modeling was a little bit boring for me, but it's fun to do, you know, here and there. And I remember thinking, why don't I just do everything I love? And then suddenly it all made sense. So the books, you know, ended up um, having me as a guest on television shows. Then on the morning shows, I became the feature reporter for NBC New York because of that. Because they were like, oh, that rated really well. Will you come back? And then from the TV shows, I would interview designers and learn more about fashion and then ended up being a fashion designer. So I just think that in life, you just don't know where something's going to lead you. And I think that things that seem very distant and disconnected often mm, are great. part of you're like oh i'm doing that but what's got it's all part of something oh girl can you bigger. say that right here to the people out there the audience girl because yeah. that's fabulous well sometimes you and you you, you you you're passionate about something and it feels so outside of what you're currently doing and you think oh what's the point of this but sometimes you don't know there's a bigger picture at play that you're not aware of yet so if you are truly passionate about it i say do it and then you will see that it will lead you exactly where you're meant to go, even though at the time it feels like you're taking a departure from your from your career path. The career Ooh. path. You yes. know what's funny about that? Mm. Because I think I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spill a little tea about my journey in America because yeah. it hasn't had not been for you, mm. young lady. Mm. I moved into her apartment in New York City, straight off the bus, honey. <laughs> straight off the straight off that plane, right in, and mm. then pretty much Two weeks later, she moved to LA and she left me. Was, She's like, she left me. It was not connected to you arriving. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's like, I'm um, out. She's like, uh, Matt Dillon has arrived. I got to go. Got to go. Exactly. But you know what? I, I mean, I lived in So New I'm, I'm yeah. gracious oh. and grateful because the path that I've been on yeah. started with you. Oh, well, well, you've always been like s such an amazingly hardworking, creative, good person. So we surround ourselves with like minded yeah. people. And, and that is another thing, right? Surround yourself with people 
people who have whose energy when you leave being in their presence you feel better about yourself not worse and that should totally. just be an, in, an overall whether Mine. it be instagram accounts that you make you feel bad about yourself or people or environments or even clothes whatever it is clothing whatever it is when you should always just do a quick second check in with yourself like how am i feeling you know what would be the reason behind that and then pick things that make you feel better about yourself i feel like with your brand you you touched upon the the social media accounts that you can look at that can sometimes make you feel like yes. inferior or less than looking at the branding mm. here colorways the appliques mm. the message like mm. is that something you consider when you're doing like are you 100%. through social media you're selling your brand yeah so is that something you really kind of really ponder and think on to be like all right i want to be a i want this to represent not only people with families but young women and a message yes 100% i love that like the whole kind of line and concept of the of the line and is making getting dressed fun again you know yeah. getting dressed each day should be one of the most joyful and empowering forms of self expression you get to choose who you want to be in that world in the world that day and i think that for a lot of wim- women um because of the pressures of like this is in fashion or you should look this way or you should be this size or you know mm. the, you, the joy of getting dressed each day has been taken away and there this and i think that that's such a tragedy it's it's really and what we saw which is interesting was like when the whole black dress movement was happening because of the me too movement yeah. you were seeing that people were finally recognizing that fashion is a powerful messenger 1000% and, and 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 for that it was a serious cause but it also can be a powerful message about how you feel and and elevating your mood and using it to make you feel put a little skip in your step um and and I call it high hill jungle because I think that's what it is we're in this kind of modern jungle and we're as women we're yes girl oh yes. you are this yes girl you are this she's a smart cookie yes. it reminds me of mm. uh the september issue with anna winter when the mm. when one of the people are like well what's the difference between that blue and that blue and that blue and mm. she that she went into a whole spiel yes. because there's so much more that goes into what that piece represents and and the the journey of what that piece represents yeah. and this is more than just the the messaging behind this i think is just as impactful as the fashion statement itself 100% yeah. it's how you feel when you put them on and then when people respond that continues that feeling like oh my god where are they from they're amazing whatever but it's it's just taking a second to to celebrate being a woman celebrate getting dressed celebrate being so- Matt Dillon <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl, that's some shit. Let me just sip some tea and think of it. I'm sorry I got a new girl. Yeah, Let me think no. what I got. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that though because it's like literally it's, you know, me being a woman as well. Sometimes it's like, you know, you kind of get stuck in the like, okay, is it okay to dress this way? Is it okay? So it's such it's so nice that you know you're having this platform to show other women like it's okay to be yourself. Dress just, for you. Dress for you, express yourself because I am a very eclectic person. I love And I live you. for I live that's one thing I'll always say about you. You, you like don't give an f. I don't like, care about what have. anybody thinks. And I and do you know what that is says and if I look at you I'm like this is someone who's who's cool with themselves, you know? Yeah. Who is who wants life to be big and well, she great. Ain't Tim and Chet. I and, sure and, not. And it's and it's and it's fabulous. And and it wouldn't even matter what you wore because everything that you would choose would be an expression of that. Exactly. So but yeah, bring the joy back. And I, you know, I've got two kids. I'm just home. about to bring oh. that up because the story, <laughs> the way you speak and the way it kind of is like you're empowered. Aww. You've got a beautiful husband, you've got two beautiful girls. Yeah. And they're little princesses. Aww. But I feel like I mean that listening to the messaging behind what you just said I was like your daughters are going be to be amazing you know I hope so directed in at and least the, directed in yeah. the right way and then you said you know what I mean I think you're you're the foundation of what you're giving them I mean this this is building fast I mean I saw Pandora Daily Mail and females written articles mm-hmm. you've been every every major major you know Hollywood girls we're in this trend Bella Hadid like yeah. this exactly. this is really picking up and i think this is a legacy your depth of work speaks for itself but mm-hmm. i feel like this is like you said you do multiple things and then you mm-hmm. see what kind of flows and works and i feel mm-hmm. like everything you've done led to yeah. this and being a mom and a great yeah. wife yeah. and well being okay what i'm just kidding that's that that's up sign for that I hope to be I love no I love her husband. No, he's I love great. her husband. No, he's great. No, that's and also picking a I mean 
Just like you got lucky, could... girl. That that yeah. man is fire. He's amazing, and that is the thing. Like, and he hasn't changed one, one bit from when I knew him back. Not one bit, and yeah. that speaks volumes about anyone. Nor have you. Aww. Yeah, in your spirit, you can always feel when someone's a good person authentic. and an authentic, and authentic. what they're doing is actually making like an impact and not just trying to like steal people's money or like what you're doing is such a powerful movement, and you have such an amazing niche, and that's what's hard to mm. find is that niche of what is like everyone's doing the same thing, yeah. but you've found something that's so different. I've never seen anything like this before. I've seen Aww, the stockings, yes. yeah. but never like socks. So I yeah. think what you're doing is amazing, and keep having that shining light because you have it no i mean i'm That's a true. i'm a very That's real true. person and you yeah. can just get that energy it's like whoo you just feel it Aww. where would you like to see this build into number one and, and secondly i've always thought your books would make a great tv series what the hell is going on girl i know oh my god give us some tea yeah. come on yes i know you've had so i know there has to be discussion yes we well we've been approached you know to turn how to tell a man by his shoes into a, a into a, actually a feature film was mainly the discussion but I, television's exciting because i feel like tv in many ways is like the new the new um, silver screen, so to speak. Yeah. But um, no, I know we've been we've been approached. We've had some development, and it's about finding you know the right partners to tell totally. the story 100%. in the right way. Um, but no, it's that's, your baby. I know. These are your babies. I know. And that's first, important to yeah. because you've got to give it away a little bit to get. But yeah, you, want but you to... have to give it away as well. You can't. That's the thing in life as well. You can't. If, you don't want to have a hundred percent of of nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> but um, but it's but no, but it's exciting to 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 get that into the the right hands and and yeah and talking about you were talking about you know messaging for girls and 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 what you say to my what I say to my daughter and you know just the other day my daughter was like oh these boys were being mean and she's she was she's she's not someone who talks much about what happens like not like oh she doesn't tell and, and I said oh, who was it I finally kind of figured it out and I just it was so interesting to be like okay how would I want someone to talk to me like how would I like to be armed for life to get through it you know and it's just like just calling someone on their nonsense is such a rare thing. Yeah. People just think, oh, I'm going to try and play it cool. And you can just be like, you know, what you're saying is really hurtful. I'm going to go spend, I just said, oh, I'm going to go play with some other kids right now. You know what I mean? I thought she'd hop in the car and be like, let me just find that mother. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> see what's happening because we ain't going to do that to my girl. We did do a drive I will on you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my husband is like the sweetest, nice he guy. He is kind, but I'm like, spicy. I yeah. know you, right? I, but you know what? I thought I'd be such a strict parent, and I'm so not a strict. Now I'm working on myself because you've got to like life. I'm working on myself. Like you've got to be a little stricter because otherwise you don't want you don't want them to get to like 17 and they're like, oh my god, the world's a tough place. You have to be like <laughs> a little taste of like you know and work ethic and and you know, but self worth. That's it. Literally, if there's one secret to everything, and it's something we all have, okay. If there's one, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling yeah. the baby over there. But yeah. If there is one secret to 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 anything, it is um, self worth. It is because without that, no matter how intelligent, how hardworking, uh, no matter how accomplished you are, you'll never end up with you know the life you deserve or the life you want because you don't think you deserve it. So self worth, but it's Ooh. something that we all have to work on and. And myself and and there's not a human out there who doesn't kind of grapple with that and 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 then work ethic as well. You know, if they don't yes. know that though, let me tell you, you got to learn that because yeah. I think yeah. evolution of life and learning and mm. developing is eternal. I want to be learning yeah. for the day I die. And Fabulous. this is having yeah. this platform though, bringing unique people like yourself is able to. Everybody's not that different. No, wait, no, that, and that's it. This exactly. is, I'm seeing yeah. this trend, nobody's that different. That's so if we could all just like, no pun yeah. intended, break the wall down, it ain't built yet, but you know, if we could break that wall down before yeah, it gets built, yeah. we'd all learn something. That's exact, that, and that is exact. We're more similar than we are different. That's know? so true. And that's the interesting thing. And even like religion, I remember I'm Jewish, my husband's Catholic, you know, we had a wedding and, and my mom stood up and she was like, you know what? Cheese, cream, this, she goes, it's all milk. It's all milk. You know what I mean? And yeah. basically what she meant by that is that she's uh, she loves dairy. No. <laughs> but that it's, we're all the same. It's all it's all the same. You know what I mean? And so 
if we can just focus on that and then celebrate the differences. Because imagine if we were all yeah. the same all the time, Correct. it'd be boring. The, it would be. It'd be great. You know, and it makes it, I love a little bit of excitement. It's so great to be an Australian in America and and having a different culture Agreed. that, you know, you can learn from. And then totally. they appreciate certain things that you bring from Australia. Right, mate? Um, like some veggie. Might, no one appreciates No one appreciates veggie. that. No one, uh, no one on that, that. Like, we gotta, <laughs> we're going to balance because nobody appreciates Vegemite. I'm learning. Oh, my. So, we wait, gotta, we yes. got to click yeah. Yeah. Where, can, where can you know tell yeah. everybody where to follow you out on social media yeah. where they can buy you know these amazing socks and just follow your journey oh my gosh thank you okay well um my social media handle personally is katherine eisman uh k-a-t-h-r-y-n-e-i-s-m-n and then the socks is high heel jungle shop um and you can buy them um they're in a lot of some of the top uh retailers here but you can also go to www.highheeljungle.shop and then also, the too, if you click here, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to bam. just bam, buy it right then and there. Um, you can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew and this little nugget. Wake up, girl. Who's sleeping. Aww. She needs to sh show her little outfit at Glitty Glid. Fabulous. She needs some high heel jungle. <laughs> yeah. <stuff>. Exactly. <laughs> Get your life. I'm Matt Dillon. You can follow me, Matt Dillon 1983. And wake up, girl, because you got the face for the camera. <laughs> And this is It's Mama 2011. Not bad, huh? Catherine Eisman, we end on a, a cheers all the time. Thank you yes. so much for coming. Thank you Get for it having on in, girl. me. I love it. Thank you. Guys. you. And until so next time on Focus TV Network, sipping the tea. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, you got the wrong number. Click.